Hello everyone and welcome again to another Teacher Joseph podcast. Well, I'm in a coffee shop today with my friend Avilio and I'm going to ask him a few questions about life and uh, Christmas just to see how he responds. It'll be good practice with his accent and everything else. So I'll just wait for him returning to the table. Just to describe what I'm looking at here, this coffee shop is very busy. Unlike the last coffee shop that I visited, which you know about, this one is much more homely. It looks like a very large, um, well, to be honest, it looks like a very large, noisy nursing home. Uh, the seats are all positioned in a way that are around tables. Uh, there's lots of older people here having uh, coffee and tea. The staff in this one have obviously been told to be nice because they're showing a lot of teeth, which is quite disturbing actually because they're not usually like that, so they're trying very hard. So, here I am with Avilio. So, hi Avilio. How are you today? I'm very fine. How are you? You mean you're very well? I'm very well. <laughs> good, good. So, Avilio, tell us, where are you from? I'm from Spain. Ah. Barcelona. Oh, lovely, lovely. And what's the biggest difference between living here in the UK and Spain? Well, it had to be the weather. But uh, if you ask me about the, how is the, Navi the Christmas, the Navidad is treated, it's a lot of difference between here and uh, Spain. A lot of differences, many differences. Many differences. Can you give us an example? Well, in Christmas we used to eat fish and have the, in Barcelona properly Barcelona, we used to celebrate the 26th, that is the unboxing day. The unboxing day. Okay, you mean in Barcelona proper, like downtown Barcelona, you celebrate the 26th of December, which we here in the UK call Boxing Day. What do you call it in, in Spain? The, the Dia de San Esteban. Yeah, they have that in Ireland. It's St. Stephen's Day, they call it. I think some parts of, well, basically Catholic people usually call it St. Stephen's Day. Okay, and you're saying that you eat fish on that day? Yeah, and the leftovers of the day of Christmas. Oh, delicious. And do you eat fish the day before Christmas as well? Yeah, yeah. This is the day of the cannelloni. Oh, I love cannellones. Oh, delicious. Oh, very nice. Very nice. Uh-huh. Okay. So, um, what are you doing here in the UK? I'm studying in the college. What do you study? I'm studying now. I am studying English Advanced, but I was studying photography. Oh, lovely. Photography. Uh-huh. Oh, very nice. Very nice. Mm -hmm. And just generally speaking, if you could describe... Scotland, particularly where you are, and a few adjectives. What adjectives would you choose? Could be uh, now I am in uh, Tim, Tim Horton, that is a chain of uh, coffee shop, and it's, uh, the adjective can be bright, vibrant, uh, noisy, um, a little bit crowded. Oh, very nice, very nice. Uh huh. And just generally about Scotland itself, cold, would you say? Yeah. More than cold, wet. Damp. Damp and wet. Oh, damp and wet, yeah, that sounds like uh, local weather, <laughs> doesn't it? <laughs> that sounds like a Scotland. <laughs> okay, very nice, very nice. Okay, do you have a painkiller? Painkillers? You're looking for a painkiller? Okay. Capsule, tablet, or effervescent? Capsule. Strong, double strength, or ultra? Medium. Time release, fast acting, or normal? Normal. This is what happens when you get older. You carry a whole medicine cabinet with you. 
Uh, vegetarian, non-vegetarian? There are uh, one vegetarian. Of course, yeah, absolutely. A lot of them have pork in there. Oh, I haven't... You don't care. No, I don't care. You don't care. Okay. Uh, over the counter or prescribed? Over the counter. Over the counter. Okay, so I have paracetamol, aspirin, disprin, or ibuprofen? With a disprin is perfect. Disprin. Okay, yeah, no problem. Here you are. Yeah, so just at the end there, um, we were just discussing medication because he asked me for a painkiller. And my questions were whether he wants a capsule, which is the little plastic bits with the medicine inside, a tablet, which is, as you know, the hard medication, or effervescent, the stuff you dissolve. I then asked him what strength he wants, strong, double strength, or ultra. And then my next question was whether he wants fast-acting, normal, or time-release. Time-release is, uh, as you know, the one that acts slowly. I was then asking him about vegetarian and non-vegetarian, which is quite clear. Um, my, one of my final questions was, uh, whether he wants over-the-counter medication, and that's that stuff you can buy in the supermarket and the pharmacy, or whether he's looking for stronger stuff that I might have that's been prescribed for me, for example. You know, because uh, you know that way sometimes we carry painkillers that are a bit stronger that, that we have for other uses. Uh, and then I, I was asking him about what brand he wants, paracetamol, aspirin, disprin, or ibuprofen. Okay, so I'm going to ask him to say goodbye to us now and to wish us a very Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas to all of you. Thank you so much for the interview. Thank you, Avilio. See you again soon. I hope so. Bye. Bye.